is it better to be a big tree or a little tree? The answer is yes. Now, when it comes to trees, we people tend to be pretty biased toward these trees that are capable of becoming massive, like a coast redwood or a giant sequoia, and or are capable of becoming ancient, like a bristlecone pine. But actually, there's a good argument to be made that it's just as adaptive, just as good of a strategy for a tree to be small and short-lived. Every species on earth has evolved these methods to survive, to thrive, and to reproduce, passing its genes on to future generations. Now, if you're an oak tree, maybe the way that you do that is by becoming massive and ancient, living for centuries or even millennia. And that allows you to physically dominate a site, to get lots of sunlight, create lots of acorns, that'll create lots of future generations of oak trees that have your genes in them. Now, if you're a gray birch, like I talk about in this video, your strategy is really different. You don't live a long time. Instead of being centuries or millennia, your lifespan might be just decades, 20 years. You might max out at like, five or six inches in diameter, but across that short lifespan, you're still able to reproduce and create a lot of seeds. The benefit of this strategy is that it allows the genes of those gray birch trees to adapt and to move. If you're that red oak tree, you're rooted in place. You're physically rooted in place, and you're also rooted in that individual genetic identity. You have certain adaptations, certain things that maybe you're good at, certain conditions you're more resilient to, certain conditions you're less resilient to. If you're a gray birch, your genes can move across the landscape, finding new habitats, maybe even finding better habitats. And because you're able to have these multiple short generations of trees, you're also able to adapt. Over the course of centuries, you're producing all of these offspring that are reaching all of these different areas of the land landscape, and that may even have different genetic adaptations that may be adaptive under different conditions. So at a time when conditions are changing really, really fast, it might actually be more adaptive to be a species that is small and short-lived than it is to be a species that is capable of becoming ancient and massive.